Brick Lover 18 here today and it's that time again. It's that time for another Lego Room slash Studio Tour which I do every 100 videos and this is my 5th one because this is my 5th 100 video. So let's start right back here at the door and I'll explain everything. These are some posters that I used to put up when I was filming. I don't do it off as much anymore because I forget and I just forget. But this one's for Please Do Not Enter and this one's for Filming Live. I definitely put that one up just in case. Oh, this is the door to get into my room. Here are some backdrops I've used in some videos and some more down there. This on the back of the door is for Bricklink. I'm going to go more into detail on my Bricklink store. But this holds my figures. This little brochure here which tells me shipping costs and I have some stickers. This little light switch from when this was my bedroom, my nursery, actually. Some more Bricklink lots. And my main wall of Bricklink parts. Leaving my Bricklink store for now and coming back, this is my parts area. I call this my parts wall, stuff like that. Here's just a quick overview of it all. And sadly, I have stuff piled in front of it right now. I just cleaned my room, guess what, for this video. So here, what I'm putting to the side is just a big box of boxes. This is not all my Lego boxes. I have a bunch more in storage, and that's where that one's going soon. I just have to carry it downstairs. This is a chair, a folding chair, that I just have in here in case somebody else comes in. So I'll start up over here. I have, this is an empty bin. This one's actually, these are all labeled wrong, but this one has chairs. These are all animals. These are all plants and stuff like that. And I'm currently reorganizing everything, like it's just a big mess. Uh, these are all things that I need to like put the part on the front, so I need to take some sticky stuff and attach the part. These are all stuff that parts are all attached. These are some empty bins. This is all broken Lego. Like if you see that I've done stuff too. Stuff like that. Or that are actually broken, as you can see. It's just, I don't complain to Lego for every little piece, but here's just some like broken pieces. Some straight train track. Don't have much of that left. I have more parts and figures and stuff in here. A couple brick separators. The other one's over there somewhere. Some stuff that looks like Lego, and it actually is Lego, but not the same size. Here are all my bricks pieces. They are all in their own M&M's box. This is what they originally look like, and this is what I've done to them. There is one for every single color. This is transparent. It hasn't been done yet. So that's why I have to do it, fix it. And I'm not going to show, I'll go into detail in another video about this stuff. These here are all tiles. So because I use them the most, I put them in this little bin. And they are organized all by color. So like purples, tans, whites, greens, stuff like that. Down here is circle parts. So anything circular. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. And these are in these little handmade boxes out of this cardstock that I, my nanny helped me make. And th that is also what these are for my Bricklink store. Except those are just normal printer paper because I only use them not as often. And these are all slope pieces, so anything that was a triangle, basically. Down so here are wall elements for buildings and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into all these bits. These are windows, frames, and glass, stuff like that. I have rocks, I have curved bricks, Technic bricks and Hero Factory stuff like that that I don't normally use, an empty bin, woohoo, Technic bricks, wheels, tires, axles, anything I need for that, custom elements, and by custom elements I mean everything that is not official Lego product but companies have made for Lego, not like Mega Ball and stuff. Down here are wings, oh I'm up one, sorry. Down here are wings and windshields for cars. On the very bottom here, I have curved train tracks, flexible train tracks, and an old Lego Duplo bin. Well, it's not actually Duplo bin, but I used to store Duplo in there. Moving on over here, I have my studio backdrop. And because I have going to do, it hasn't been posted yet, another video on this, you're not going to see it all. But as you can see, my umbrellas take up a big part of this room. But I'm just going to go down and low and kind of quickly show you. So there's my backdrop there. Off to the side here I have a bunch of LEGO CMF boxes ranging from newest series to the oldest series that I have and then a couple of the boxes here. And this is seasonal stuff so anything that LEGO makes for seasonal stuff like, like Christmas, Halloween, 
that is all disassembled and in there and also some blocks I made. These are some mega blocks. Sometimes they're great for filling stuff in. Not for building stuff but for train tracks. And here down here is a bunch of mocks that I just don't want to take apart. Stuff like here are all pick a brick cups. Lots of pick a brick cups. Sets that are unopened. More sets to be unopened. And then of course I have my tripod and my lights. In this bin here I have Duplo elements. I have other stuff in there, don't really remember, and more stuff in there. So this is a lot of stuff here is what I use for filming. So I have a duster in case my thing gets dirty. My backdrop, sorry. Not my thing. A list of videos that I want to make. I don't want to show you that. So these are like little risers I use sometimes to hold the setup while I do a minifigure review. Here is a detailed, I want to show you this, here is a detailed binder of all my Lego Brooklyn Corks. So everybody that has ever ordered from me as of watching this video, your order is in here. And it's got the order number and it has absolutely everything you order, even stuff like non-paying buyers. So every single order I have ever gotten is all stapled. One, it's all stapled together and I can break the staple. I think, oh, this is this is Big B's order from Big B Bricks. I'll blur that out just because hmm, I realize he might not want me showing his order details. He didn't have a YouTube channel. I was pretty much the one who inspired him to make that YouTube channel, I think. He wasn't going to, and I convinced him that he should. So back to over here. The, over here is just a bunch of bins full of up basically, a set, old assemble sets, mocks, stuff like that. Um, in this bin right here, I have some sig figs which for my videos. This is a whole box of bags, excess bags. And that, here's a that's an empty box, and here's a box full of of sets and stuff like that. Now to the very back here, it's so hard to see, and you're not so you're not going to be able to see back here. But I have a whole box of airplanes and a whole pizza box full of sets that need to be reassembled. There are the pieces and stuff, the pieces and all the parts are all in Ziploc bags. Here is where I process Bricklink orders. So this, I have a design, I better put this bin down there to show you. I have, it's full of other stuff right now, but I have a design, so this is where I pack the order. This is where I put the order when I'm waiting for it to be invoiced. This is the order place where I put my order ready to be paid. And this is where I put the orders when I'm ready to take them to the post office. And there's some loose parts in there and stuff like that. Under the table is, again, really messy. Got I have a lot of stuff under it. My tune table for videos. Here is the giveaway prize. So we need like 250 more subscribers and then the winner of the giveaway will be announced. At the very back here, as you can see, I have more LEGO games. And I have... Lego parts and then here's where the vent is so there's no bin here and I forgot to show you here are all my bubble mailers that I have in stock right now all my bo my boxes of bags so here are small bags and then medium bags and large bags and here is actually the thing I use to for orders to know how much shipping is so if it fits through that in Canada that means that it is a small if it fits through that it's an oversized letter so it's cheaper and if it doesn't fit through that it's officially a package so here is my city sneak peek of that and under here I have Lego instruction manuals half of them and I have even more mocks and sets and stuff that is not on display or in my city and they're all just piled under here this is a bag of unsorted Lego elements it's in my leg and go lifestyle bag so what I do is when I want to sort I take this normally to the basement with some sorting trays and I just start sorting in front and it's great here I have all my base plates so base plates not plates and here I have all city stuff that I'm probably gonna put in the city someday like trucks and but I just don't have the room or the time or a space for it quite yet a lot of construction stuff is in here because in my new city I don't have a construction set here is this paper bag I put on the wall. It's just bricks to be sorted. I used to put my bricks to be sorted bin at the very back there, but because I've moved the table right against the wall, the vent 
needs to get the air out. So I just made this bin and I'll just show you what's in it. It's just loose pieces of Lego that I did obviously wait to be sorted. Now here is the plates. So these plates, they better start from the top so you don't understand it. These plates are one by whatever, two by whatever, and then anything over two goes here. In this bin, I have minifigure heads. The way I show these is kind of interesting, thanks to Chang Bricks. So I thought I'd show you that. That's how I store my minifigure heads. These are male heads. These are heads that are like flesh colors or not normal colors. And then these are female heads. I don't have a lot of female heads. I'm using them all. Here are minifigure stands and bikes. Don't need to show you that. The transparent that I was telling you I need to get into the bin. And then this is just a pick a brick cup full of some cool stuff I haven't gone through yet. So here are some accessories. I'm working on putting all my accessories into these boxes and labeling them what they are. So like megaphones, obviously megaphones. Here I have torsos and arms. I have the rest of my minifigure parts basically are here. Hats, DTC. And then here are two little drawers for more minifigure parts. I really love my minifigure parts. So these are like gold stuff, money, silver, I like the rare, not not officially rare, but I think rare. Except for some cups, and these are cups and dishes and plates and bowls and forks and all that good stuff. And here is female hair, and here is male hair, and including the male hair is it could this could be used for female hair, but because it is also used on male, I put it in the male because just to fill up these drawers a little more because. As you can see, at one point I went and bought all these this female hair and then realized, yeah, now I have all this female hair, but no female minifigure part. whoop de doo Here are some accessories that are a little bit more rare or hard, more hard to find, so I don't have as many of them, so I don't have a whole box for them, them yet. Here is food, so all this kind of different food, pies, bananas. I have guns, not weapons, just guns. And then in the last bin here, which is really hard to get out, I have some older figures. I better wrap this up soon. I have all my LEGO Club magazines. These are all Brick Journal magazines that I don't have online. My LEGO movies, my other ones in my bedroom. Some programs and for fan of us. This is a Swiffer I used to dust up. This and th these two things are stor shorting trays, so when I'm party notice that I use them. Under here I have poly bags. I'm trying to get this done so I'm not going to show you them all, but these are poly bags I eventually want to build someday, and these are poly bags that I already have built, but I don't want to sell my extras yet. I have, so I have multiple of them. These are a bunch of Lego books. This one's actually for sale, but the rest here are just books that I like. So here I have this cool Lego minifigure head, and I actually put my brick separators in them. And then I have some fake snow, which I bought, and it's perfect for photos. And then I have convention stuff, so my dad's brick badge, extra tickets, and stuff like that. Here I have a Lego store bag that is got Mega Blocks in it, but I need to sort the Mega Blocks out because when I tore apart my city and I used all these Mega Blocks for like my train track and stuff, they all just went in there. But some Lego parts, that Lego parts were mixed in there too, so I have to sort that out. Here, this in this minifigure head are all bricks to be sorted. So all these bricks need to be sorted into those bins, and I just need to find time to do them. Garbage can. My computer, and under here I have a bunch of customizing stuff, and some movies for when I'm in here watching. This is what my computer looks like. Here I have this whole display unit, where I my Lego movie stuff, business cards, and I'm just going very fast, not going to explain all that. Convention stuff or exclusive figures, mixels bunch of just random stuff. Here is a store, a BrickLink drawer. So these are all for sale on my BrickLink store. This for when I know, so I know what. Sometimes just I get fuzzy on the term, so I have to put that here. A newspaper article about Lego Simpsons. Here is my Lego movie from Walmart. This, it's the advertising for the Lego movie, the Lego movie video game. And this was on their scanner at Walmart. I did a haul video on this. My those brick letters wall, so if you have a hashtag those brick letters, send them in. My brick fair t-shirt, my window, 
my Brick Fett t-shirt. I also have a bunch of other posters on this wall, but it's hard to see them, with calendars and lanyards and Lego movie stuff. And here's our, some, here are some poly bags that I, I like on the wall. Luggage tag. Throughout the whole room on this wall, just this wall, I have these old calendar posters. So when this calendar's up, they'll probably go on this wall. So I have this little, you see my desk now, and it's just got my old camera, which I was gonna use, but I actually didn't for a video I just filmed. I have my iPad, a light in case it gets dark and I'm trying to work. And here's this little white cabinet where 15 minutes I have to hurry it up. This is stuff I use a lot to process orders. So when you order, every single order gets this custom sheet. Or not this custom sheet, this thank you for ordering QR code sheet. That one has to be there. And if you on YouTube order, you get a free tile with my old profile picture on them. So all you have to do is order. Your order can be a dollar, your order can be a hundred dollars. Either way, you will still get one of these, so that's pretty cool. And you also get one of those if you order any of my custom elements. So these are for when you order custom, this is when you order just in general, and if you order both, you get both, obviously. I put these on the back of every envelope with your order number, because I bet everybody hates when they get a package thinking it's their BrickLink order, go to film a haul video, and then realize it's not their BrickLink order, and then they're disappointed. So this, there's no question it's a BrickLink order. A bunch of other stuff, receipts, scale, stuff that I nobody wants. Sets that I have to do videos on, or I don't have to, but I want to do videos on, or reviews. More instructions, or set, this is one set I want to build, just so I left it out. But these are all instruction manuals that don't fit in this accordion case. So there's a lot. Basically anything that I have gotten in 2014 is in here, and more. And then these are all bags, so bags that I help that are, I use to store parts of my collection in, stuff like that. There's not much back here. I already showed you the boxes, I showed you the chair, I showed this bookshelf is waiting to go into my basement. Some more stuff on display here, speakers, Lego Movie poster. All my CMS, minus my Lego Movie minifigures and Simpsons figures, the whole container is absolutely full. Custom elements that I have on display. CMS sheets, some store calendars, mirror, and that brings us basically back to the start of the room. So I'll just do another 360 on my Lego room for you guys, because you won't see another Lego room video until my t my 600th video, and that, if I'm going the speed I'm going now, that won't be very long. Thank you for watching this video by BrickClover18, showing you my Lego room. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for helping me get to 500 subscribers. If I didn't have all 500 videos, sorry. If I didn't have all my subscribers watching all my videos, I probably wouldn't may have made them. So thank you so much for helping me get to 500 videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to check out all my other videos.